gonna move on. Um, I got two last topics I want to get to quick, and these should be relatively mm-hmm. quick. Uh, one is that we'll, we'll start with Daniel here. I want to know one aspect of the Nintendo mm-hmm. Switch that you hope to see them improve upon by. Okay, other than the fine controller feature. <laughs> <laughs> they already did that. They already uh, yeah, did that. I love yeah. it. <laughs> I just had to mention it again. Because uh, <laughs> did you lose a controller until it, until you downloaded it? I know where all my controllers are, and I was still like just playing with it, just making them buzz. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing it in some random spot. It's like a let game me, for let you. Me put it, let me put it outside and freak out my kid by yeah, making it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I guess other than like meeting demands for consumers because i want i have so many people i talk to and they're like oh you have a switch that's awesome i met a guy at the train station who saw me playing breath of the wild and he started asking me all these questions about the switch and we had a great like 20 minute conversation about it and no one everyone's always like great where can i get one and i was like you can't (laughs) you know In your dreams, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're not you're not cool enough to be part of the Switch Club. Um there, you shouldn't there's pre-order. none anywhere. You should have knew about it before it ever came out. Well I didn't I didn't yeah. pre-order. Um, I got mine so, by standing in line uh outside in the middle of the night still, in the still. rain. That, for that's like, like hard on that's hardcore. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, on launch night. Like, if I didn't pre-order, I would have been at Walmart literally at like five PM and just sat in electronics and just literally sat down. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> Because I did, I did that for the, I did that for the Wii U launch, so I yep. know it works. Totally does. <laughs> but yeah, I, I have a twenty-four hour Walmart. I want, obviously. I want more support <laughs> for like stock demand, the the normal stuff. Um, I want the online services to happen. You know, like well, that, that's happening in twenty eighteen. Yeah. We know, but that. I want them to be better. Like yeah. the Wii U's was, it worked, but I want it to be like more. I want more from it. Um. Like closer to what the other consoles are, are able to do with their online services. Mm-hmm. Sure, they, they'll have that for you all on the phone. <laughs> no, I want. <laughs> it's all I'm, not, I'm not on the system. Voice chat. I'm not too worried about voice chat because, like, I never. I guess I never had like a headset but, for but Xbox it's Live. It's not just voice chat. But um, it's your matchmaking and everything. It's yeah. <laughs> I want. I want all that stuff though. Like to be. On but the yeah, system. they have all that. Yeah, but it's I, don't want, I don't They've want. already it said the it's on the phone app. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. Bad. Well, that's where it is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you don't really have a choice. That's where it is. Definitely something that can be approved upon. I need to not have to buy, for example, Super Metroid again on the eShop for Switch. I want to be able for it to all like sync up. So anything I buy on eShop on that I already bought on Wii U or my Wii even, um, okay. and yep. bought Man. on 3DS, I'd love all that to just like l- be synced up and to just be able to we re-download have to have it and not about... buy it again. Because I spent, we're gonna have to have like a, a two-hour podcast about the way the switch can get better. Because I asked for one aspect, and you're on like yes. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, why don't you just get just rage? Yeah. I know, rage. but I love the switch. Like I pretty much played it on it every day since it launched. Um, and and like it's an amazing system, but like I, it leaves me wanting some more. So, and I know it's coming, even if it has to be on my phone. So out of all the things you said, what's the I, one I you the want? Like, thing. Thing. I want the eShop thing. I want the eShops to line out. I don't want to have to um, buy games again to have them so be, on my Switch. Being able to to get your what, yeah get your previous. What you're talking about really is the virtual console. There Switch. is what you're really referring yeah. to. So I want like all the eShop stuff from 3ds and Wii U and everything just to be like synced up to uh, my my Nintendo account and yep. for all of that to work as like one thing. So if I have Super Metroid for example is on my and Earthbound is on my uh Wii U uh, that I downloaded there, if I could just re-download it yep. on my Switch without paying for it again because I've already yep. bought the game. Yep. Yep. Not not like they did with Wii U where they made you pay like Yeah, a where it's like you get a, for another Even that is you got it fine, again. As buy long it as it's again. not full price. Yeah, if but I was still like, oh, I have price. to spend a dollar twenty nine on it. Like, I guess it's only that, but the only thing I'm getting from that is like suspend points. Right. That's the only improvement. Sure. Um, what uh, five J? What, what's one aspect you'd like to see improved on the Switch? By um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit different aspect on it. I'm gonna say something that I that I like that I'd like to see them um continue to build on. So I was working sure. uh, during the E3 presentation. I wasn't able to watch it when it was being live streamed, so I had to watch it online later. Well, I had booted up my Switch to see what new software came out, um, and I noticed in the news section it it had right in there 
the entire E3 presentation. You could watch live on your Switch. Well, not live, but you know mm-hmm. what I mean? They, yep. They'd uploaded it on there in their news section. Yeah, yeah. And I did. That is where I watched the E3 yep. presentation was on my Switch. It was really cool. And uh, now they, they have uh, these channels where you can subscribe per game to see what, what news is coming down the line and whatnot. And I think it's really cool, and it's very slick and fast, unlike in the past when you'd have a notification on your 3DS or your Wii U. It would take forever to open it up, and it was some worthless junk. And yeah. Oh, it, yeah. Yeah, it was hardware. so bad. And, and now this, you turn on your Switch, over a little bit on the left is a few of the interesting articles I think you might want to see. And, you know, a lot of them are usually videos. Hey, do you see this uh, gameplay video at E3, or do you see this out of a Direct or whatever? And I think it's really smart, and it's uh, a great way to continue to help people be aware of everything that Nintendo is doing. And uh, it can be both a, a sort of general, you know, soft, or what is it, a casual player, soft core is what I'm going to say. It's not the right term. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you know what, what I meant mean. there. A hardcore player and a casual player. That's <laughs> the real opposites. Not only is it just like, so hey, Mario exists, porn. it's also, hey, you like Mario, and we're going to give you updates on everything about this Mario game that you bought, everything that's coming down the line now that they're bigger on DLC and that kind of stuff. So I'm interested to see what, what else they can do with that feature and uh, how else they can really pull us in and keep us aware of everything they're doing and not boring us to death with a bunch of uh, worthless ads kind of thing. Yeah. Sure. Eric, what's uh, one one aspect you think they should improve on the Switch by 2018? Oh, gosh. <clears throat> oh, voice <laughs> chat. I mean, <laughs> improving that would be <laughs> just fine with me. Um, but uh, I think, I don't know, gosh. I mean, I've I've pretty much loved all my experience with the Switch. Well, is there anything you wish the Switch could, have, could do right now that it's not right. doing? I don't know. I've noticed... Last night, I noticed a couple times where my Switch was actually kind of lagging a little bit, where I think it almost locked up on me when playing Breath of the mm. Wild, yep. which is really weird, because I've actually I'd never issue. seen that before. That's so, actually a known issue. Um, so, to improve on that and to make it flow a little better, I mean, I, that's just something that I haven't yeah. noticed mm. last night. Some but, of those issues, that, um, have you have you felt how hot your Switch was on the back? Yeah, yeah. Was it really hot? It, when it I mean, it was warm. It was, I wouldn't say it was like burning my hand hot, okay. but it was it was okay. hot. Yeah, um, they've been those stability updates everyone laughs about. Uh, that's what those updates are for. So I, I just kind I, I kind of see what you're saying. Um, I haven't had it happen to me in a little while, but I, I have seen it in the past. But that's um, the crazy thing. I haven't seen it before until like I think last it's night. It's a game yeah. to game well, thing, that's, though. That's really ha- weird. Well. Yeah. Have you gotten the 3.0 update yet? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. You just have to go into your system settings. Yeah. And see. Yeah. Um, just get that and just see what happens. Because right, they right. did include all, it's not all the new features. They included more stability and, and bug right. fixes. So, yeah. So um, that's one thing I could do. Yeah. If, if, so if so make sure that, that, that the user experience is basically flawless in terms of stability yeah. in the system. Right. Yeah. yeah. Cause that's what they're, that's what they were uh, hounding, you know, that they were, you know, this is going to run 60 SPS, no drop, no frame rate drops, no nothing, no, but I'm mm-hmm. glitching and yeah. slowing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, 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 you know, it, if it is just a game specific thing, you know, sometimes you have to wonder, is there a memory leak? Because um, when that happens on a PC, that locks everything up and shuts yeah. you down. Know? Right. Um, and, and that's in a code. So, like, that's, right. that's you right. know, so but, it's like one of those, we don't know what's causing it, but whatever's causing it, fix it by 2018. <laughs> right, right. And it, it's, it's one of those things that it, it, it locked up for probably two or three seconds. And I was like, are you mm. kidding me? What's going on? And then it kind of played fine for the next Well, well they, they died as auto-saving. Right, right. <laughs> and it, it, played, it played fine for a long time. And then it kind of just, it, it would kind of lag a little bit here and there. I mean, it wasn't like it was, on and off again. Yeah, actually I have. So... <laughs> You gotta remember, I am a tech support. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, I I have the classic turn it off and on again. I, I have done I, that. we have the technology. <laughs> we do have the technology. Um, I was about just, just as a joke. Um, one aspect they should improve is future switches. The dock should have padding. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. definitely. Yeah, that that's not actually something like it's not an issue for me. But for people who don't want to buy glass screen protectors and maybe have a bent switch yep. or 
uh, whatever. Nintendo probably should have had some forethought to realize not every Switch is going to be 100% perfect well, on the box. So that's they, not they the need only thing that's broken for about the, the potential dock issues. either. Also, that price tag appears to not be working so well. It's just showing no. ninety dollars. What's up with that? I won't lie. I actually <laughs> bought another insane. dock. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will say. I will say. Like. <laughs> I had to. I'm less no critical on the, like I, there, there's third party do, there's like third party dock options yeah. coming out now that are like yeah, half the price. Cool too. Um which that that, that mm. always happens. But what what I've noticed this price of the dock doesn't surprise me as much. Um the price of the power cord is ridiculous, yeah. thirty bucks. I, oh yeah, yeah, no. But come on. Like that that means that it's sixty bucks for the dock with an HDMI cable. Uh because the thirty thirty dollars of that price is for yeah, the apparently. power cord. <laughs> um it, it when I look at it though, people, a lot of people that like, get mad about that, they have no idea what's happening in the PC space with 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 uh, the USB C dongles. Mm. Like ninety bucks is nothing. USB C dongles sometimes are two hundred dollars mm. to get. Like all the the only thing that bothers me, the only aspect I'll say that makes it not worth the ninety dollar tag is that it does not have a native Ethernet port. Yeah. For ninety bucks, that kind of all the other USB C dongles out there have have native, like because because basically you get them for your laptops, right? Like laptops are going to USB C, it helps to make it smaller. You can get a dongle if you want extra USB three point ports if you want your wired internet, yada yada yada. Well, for ninety bucks, it yeah. should have that. Mm-hmm. Sans that, I, the price point actually falls right in line with every other USB C dongle hmm. out there. Um, that does more than just give you you like like if it's a USB dongle that has uh, USB 3.0 ports plus HDMI out. Those dongles are like 90 bucks, 100 bucks. Like, like, like. So Nintendo's pricing actually isn't that far off. The problem is this has never happened in a con- home right. console space. There's never <laughs> been a, a something that you compare to a USB C dongle. <laughs> USB C has never yeah. been used in a home console space. So like, I think it's the reality of the general consumer base realizing, hey, USB C actually isn't that old, and it's newer. Like, it's one of the newest yep. ports out there. So it's not cheap, even though, oh, it's mostly plastic. Yeah, but that USB, that little board in there, it does all that stuff. That's yeah. something cheap in the market. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're not paying 90 bucks for the plastic. You're paying, like, a dollar for that. You're paying <laughs> the rest of it for, well, apparently <laughs> 30, 30, bucks. 30 bucks <laughs> yeah. for a power cord. <laughs> power cord. Um, <laughs> but the rest of it, you know, it goes towards that board yeah. that's in there that does all the converting and everything. So it... That's why it doesn't, but I know that. that. That's me being, like, I'm a tech enthusiast, so, like, I know mm-hmm. these things, but I understand why it's upsetting to people, especially when you have third-party options come out, 45 bucks. They reverse engineer the thing. They release it for 45 bucks. Um, you know, does it have the same amount of USB ports? Maybe not. I know, like, there's a third-party one that's coming out that has a Kickstarter that's literally a dongle. It's oh, a yeah. USB-C dongle that basically just has HDMI out, um... And it works with the Switch, and it works with like the Samsung Galaxy S8, um, to, to also be like the first dongle that can make that <laughs> go on your TV. And again, though, it doesn't have the same amount of USB right. ports, so it's like it, you're paying less, but you're not sure. getting as much. Um, plus, you know, you're technically not getting a cord that charges your Switch per se. It comes up the the cord ends up being rated correctly, but you always got to worry when you use third party yeah. cords. With with USB C because USB C actually has very fine tuning on the power management. So if you get a cable that isn't properly mm-hmm. tested, like it could actually fry your thing. So like it's very risky to even use a not like warranty wise, you are not covered if mm-hmm. that happens. Yeah, I will say um, I bought a third party so USB C cable that. and it will not charge my switch at all. It will not acknowledge that it's plugged in. Yeah, it's got it's got to be gr- it's got to be graded for the right yeah, it's power crazy. draw. Oh. Um, so yeah, it's. USB C is very fine tuned, which is awesome, but it's also really awesome for people that want proprietary mm-hmm. stuff. Um, but I happen to have two like two chargers for it, um, and what I wish, what I want to see Nintendo do right now is to, to alleviate all of this. W- when you buy the Pro Controller, it comes with a standard USB to C mm-hmm. charging cable. You can plug it into any wall outlet, plug it into your computer, it'll charge your Switch or charge mm-hmm. the Pro Controller. Um, I wish they would just release that cable separately. They don't. Let you buy it. Make, no, they don't. You can only get it with a broken. Well, and right. also with the charging grip. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. My bad. Yeah, but charging grip as well. Things. So it's like, although if if you separate that out from that, sell that cord for ten bucks. Yeah. I'm okay then. Like like whatever. I get that combine that with a third party option. You know, like the forty five dollar Nyko thing. That I then I personally feel confident it has the proper power delivery, and then I don't have to pay ninety bu- or sixty bucks or whatever right. the premium is to to get to get the dock. Um, but again, that's not that's just me just noting that like there's options mm-hmm. out there now. Um, what I, what I want to actually get better with the switch is I want them to at least by 2018 tell us what's happening mm-hmm. with Virtual Console in yes, any capacity, please. in please. any capacity. Even if you're not able to convert your old library, they, Reggie has said we realize that's an important thing for our consumers. Like personally, I want them to forego all of that and just release a subscription service, just like PlayStation and Xbox has. But now the PlayStation and Xbox have it, Nintendo doesn't like doing what other people do. So True. I mean, look at voice yeah. chat. <laughs> uh, but then again, look at crossplay. So I, I don't know. Nintendo's hey, hey, not Nintendo's, everybody's doing it. So. Nintendo's playing both sides of the fence right now. <laughs> no, no, not everybody's doing crossplay, so they're no, good. Not they're everybody, good. but <laughs> so, they're still good on on following what everybody does. But like, and I know some people are like, oh, well, I don't want to pay five bucks a month to have access to all these games. I just want the games I already own. Well, what if, say you owned. Say in your total library, you own like thirty or forty mm-hmm. of those games, right? Like on your between your Wii U, even your Wii, mm-hmm. if they want to go back that far, if they can, um, they probably could if if you convert, brought them over to your Wii U. Uh, what if they said, "Well, we're not going to give you those games to download for free, but what we'll do is for every game you own, you get a free month of the service." Right? Yeah, sort of, of the the program. Games. What was it? The ambassador program for the 3DS. Sort of that sort of thing. Yeah, we get it. We're sorry you paid a lot of money, and now we're giving people a better deal than what you got. So here's a bunch of rewards. Well, yeah, like like we're converting everything. We're converting everything yeah. to the subscription service. You can download the games, but like we don't have ability for you to buy the game. But because you were so loyal in the past, here is yeah. a, a free month for everybody. I got to tell you guys, I would be set up for um. life. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. The life of the, the Switch. Oh, and, and then some, probably. Trouble. I mean, woo, I bought a lot of games, guys. I'd be in trouble. You're, you're set up for like 500 months I, in I a row. I own a lot of games, but I'm like really adamant that I get most of them as physical copies. So, like, I mm. would be, I'd probably be in trouble then. Well, virtu- virtual console right, is if a we're just talking game. strictly vir- virtual console. Like, you'd still have to download yeah. the game. Like, I don't want it to be like. Play- like PlayStation's option where you stream it? Ooh, no, 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 no. I like like no, Xbox. No. What Xbox does is you subscribe and you physically download yeah. the game yep. and play it locally on your system. They just do an online check to make yep. sure that, you know. Basically, you have to just be an, an online check to make sure yeah. you're subscribed. And and one step, DRM. What, 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 yeah, it's a little DRM. What, once you get past that step, you could probably turn your. Uh, actually, I know for a fact on Xbox One, as soon as you you launch the game, or yeah, no, as soon as you launch the service. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It'll do that check, and then you can literally disconnect from the internet, and any of the games you already have downloaded from that service, you can continue to use until you, you know, want until you go back on Wi-Fi, and then it'll recheck to see if you're subscribed. <laughs> I don't know how long, how many days that lasts for. Obviously, sure. it's got to be like a week, or it's got to be, it's got to be some sort of. Sure. They only let you do, be disconnected and access mm-hmm. them for so long, but, but that's a, that should be how many of us are that far away from Wi-Fi, <laughs> um, yeah. for that long. Even in the military, they get access to Wi-Fi. Every once in a while. So, it it's... Yeah, we're, we live in an age now. Wi-Fi is like a requirement hey, to be a military and person some of, those, now. some of those people in the military probably have access to way better Wi-Fi than what we do. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes it's satellite, which yeah. isn't good. Well, sometimes. But sometimes. I'm saying if they're... Yeah, I know. Like, well, it depends on what country they're in. Everything's like... They'll, they'll go fiber. one country. Everything's fiber. Yeah. Everything's fiber. Um, so, that's just... I, even if it's not a subscription service, something just that's future looking and not doing, just it works on this one system. Just, I just want to know what they're yeah. doing. Mm. Period. Even if it's bad, <laughs> I just want to know, like, like the, the worst possible thing I guess they could do is voice well, chat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the worst possible thing they could do with Virtual Console is basically say we're not doing it anymore. Mm-hmm. And I, they're, I don't think you're ever. I think if that was the case, mm-hmm. they would have said that by now. They would have said we're just not going to have virtual console on the Switch. It's you know, we obviously people get mad with the rebuying of games. We've never created a proper system for it. We're just not going to mm-hmm. deal with it right now. Um, and that would suck. But at least people would be like, okay, we don't no expectation yeah. that it's mm-hmm. ever going to come. So there's now, oh, what's happening with my OBC games? Nothing. Just keep those consoles yeah. playing forever. 
Well, that's um, what I'd be doing anyways. But. You know, <laughs> totally. Yeah, well, that's yeah. what a lot of people do. But there's plenty of people that are like, oh, I traded in my Wii U to pay for a Switch. Uh, can I get those games back? Yeah. <laughs> Nintendo never said you could get those games yeah. back. So you kind of did, you had to do that knowing there was mm-hmm. an inherent risk. Um, obviously, the, you could just buy another Wii That is nice. You could buy another Wii U and you could re-download the games. Um, you might have to talk to Nintendo customer service yeah. to make that happen, but you can do it. But I just want to know any any news at all. Like, is there going to be virtual console? And I would like to know what that's going to look like, whether it's a service, whether it's exactly the same as it has been in the past, which yeah. would disappoint me, um, not just because you, know, you have to rebuy the games for cheaper, but that I feel like they've never done virtual console mm-hmm. right. Their rate of releases is mm, pathetic. The, the closest they had was in the Wii era. For a long time, it was pretty darn good. And that yeah. was acceptable. And that was also acceptable because it was right. It, no it was so new. It, it was actually the one thing that made me excited. So like, for the it's Wii like was the virtual console. But then when we got to Wii U and 3DS, everything just slowed to a crawl. They're like, well, there's only so many big games. Like, do you know how many big games never made it to Virtual Console? Like, the mm-hmm. fact that I can go on my Switch right now and download every Neo Geo game in existence, but I can't download any old games from any other mm-hmm. Nintendo platforms. Mm-hmm. It's like, that doesn't feel like Nintendo thought that through. That feels like that could have been part of your, part of your Virtual yeah. Console service. Yeah, yeah. Um. So I, it also might suggest that maybe they are doing a virtual console service, and if they're going to have third party, like other, other people's consoles, like if Atari is oh, going to yeah. have all their games come to it, that's just not part of the service. That's going to be separate purchases, like the Neo Geo is. Um, and, and maybe, maybe, maybe that's just it. Like the service will be just Nintendo yeah, platforms. Maybe. But if it is a service, but it's just at least there's something for a platform that's got nothing to do with Nintendo. So I just want to hear that they're either. At least by the end of the year, I want Reggie to come out and say, either yes, we're doing virtual console, or no, we're doing it. Instead of we hear you. Well, we, we know they're at least going to do something that not like an that because the one thing that they have confirmed to us <laughs> no, is they, that with uh, the paid Nintendo service for uh, games online, that we are going to get some classic game during that month, and it'll be uh, like, like they announced uh, like Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart on Super Nintendo, and they've sure. added online multiplayer, sure. and that's awesome. They're obviously doing yeah. something. Yeah. But how much further past that is it going to well, go? Well, they, they also said with that that virtual console is not part of their online subscription. I lost Nate. Oh, me there too. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so when you say like virtual, con- they, they basically said that virtual console, the the one tidbit we've gotten outside of we we heard you, we have nothing else at this time, is they have said repeatedly, a virtual console is not part of the online subscription. It's not part of those retro games. Right. Those are an entirely separate thing. It has weird. nothing to do with it. But it's like. I mean, I guess I I, I get it. I don't I don't I, I don't know. I mean, the, the online system is so cheap. I, yeah, you know, I don't know what they're thinking. Cheap. Really, like, are you gonna charge? Yeah, like you're not gonna charge people that cheap for a subscription to your whole library, and you're not gonna charge people to access uh, the ability to buy right. things. Uh, <laughs> like, they're not gonna do that. So, like, it, to be honest, Virtual Console would never be part of it unless they jacked up the price. It feels of, more of like online, an advertisement which, to say, "Hey, isn't this a great game? You can also get it on Virtual Console." I I. Mm. I I think it's I think it's more so the other competitors give you games, so we have to give you something. Too. <laughs> yeah, that could be. We we can't just tell you you need to buy online so you can use our phone app, and so you can play online multiplayer games because everyone else has moved beyond that being acceptable. Like back on the Xbox days, even the Xbox 360, you're just paying to access online. Well, now Nintendo can't be like you're just paying us to access our servers. No, that's not enough. So, like, okay, well, we have to give you some retro games. And if we charge cheap enough, it'll feel like those retro games are worth the price without having to worry about the online right. at all. I I think that's I think they're just trying to add value like everyone else right. has done. And Nintendo isn't adding a $60 value. Like, PlayStation and Xbox will give you, like, a, a game from four months ago that or was a brand older, new AAA yeah. game. Nintendo's like, well, Nintendo's like, we're giving you an NES game, so we can't charge 15 bucks a month to give you a game that only costs a dollar on the eShop. On 3DS. Yeah. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if there's any NES game that costs a no, dollar. Probably $3.99. $4.99 everywhere. $4.99. Yeah, $4.99. Yeah. God, that's I can't believe. In the, in the in, uh, an era where the NES Classic Edition exists, yep. how can mm. you charge $4.99 for an NES Because they established the president in Wii and they don't, they don't make them anymore. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to say, it's because they yeah. don't make NES Classic. It's because I'm the only one who owns an NES Classic in the world, apparently. I got one. I got one. There's All two right. people here. This is amazing. Two, 
That's all. Fifty oh, percent oh. of so the population which one you, of any which one you, is on this podcast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> which one of you am I trading my modded 3ds? Oh, it's for gonna NES? cost more than that, buddy. It's gonna cost more than that. Ooh. <laughs> That's a five hundred dollars system. No, 60 oh man! Bucks when I got it, you can record. You can record footage. Dude, you can stream I'm, footage. I'm legit <laughs> yeah, tempted so by that. Man. And Classic, I'm never. No. And I, I, the only reason that I say that is because I'm not going to play games with it because I don't own any games. For <laughs> yeah, it. I've got quite a few. Whereas the NES Classic gives me a bunch of games I can live stream. But so, the thing is, no, is the NES Classic is a five hundred dollar console because you can't find it anymore. Yeah. It's probably I, like a I thousand mine, on you. So I have like Super Nintendo and Genesis games and stuff on here. Oh, nice. so you're telling me you're trying I'm to sweeten the you, deal? It's a pretty Ooh. sweet one. Yeah. All right, take take his because I'm not parting with mine for like. <laughs> I don't I don't know that I can I'll part throw, with it either, I'll but throw I'm at least my... tempted. I'll throw in my special edition Breath of the Wild soundtrack. Hey, if you had the Master have. Sword statue, <laughs> then we'd talk. <laughs> I do not have that. I do not have that. No. I almost had it. I was trying to work out a trade with someone in Australia, and it was going to get chipped, and it just kind of fell through because I was going to have to spend an extra 40 bucks. I didn't have at the time. I would have had if I didn't add all those extras yeah. at day one. My, my total checkout price day one for Switch was like 740 oh, yep. bucks or something. Yeah. Because yep. I needed a pro controller. I needed the charging grip. I needed this. I, yeah. needed, I, needed, charge I grip. needed all the yeah. games. You didn't need the extra $30 power cord, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The extra $30 power hey, cord. Hey, that would have been your almost 40 bucks right there. <laughs> exactly. But, yeah, it's... I just want something with Virtual Console. Anything. Any word. Just confirm that it's going to be there or not. Even if, for some reason, it's not coming until 2025. Right. <laughs> Whatever. Um, and, and to tie into that, and I know I, I wanted to keep it to one, but I, I want to know with the online system, because we know that's coming now, right? 2018, we know what the pricing is. We know what most of the features are. I want them to tell me if we're going to get multimedia services with it. Mm-hmm. Netflix. Where's my YouTube, Netflix, yeah. Hulu, Amazon? Mm-hmm. Like you were just talking earlier about, oh, I, I, I yeah. watched that whole thing. I think, yeah, but you probably couldn't watch it live. Yeah. I could have if I or had Twitch. YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, or Twitch, yeah, like or if Nintendo just decided to stream it live. Yeah, on yeah. Console. Oh yeah, they have. Any... They've done that in the past. Yeah. They, they've actually done that in the past. Um, we yeah. used to be able to watch all the press conferences and Nintendo directs on it. Yeah. Um, they, they might have even done it on the Switch. I never, I never even thought. Yeah, the I didn't check even. Very true. So maybe, know. maybe they did. Yeah. So someone out there might be like, "Oh, they did do that." I'm like, "Oh, cool." I right. just didn't check. Right. Um, because they very well could have did that through the eShop or their news section. They might have had it in there to access. I don't know. Yeah. Um, there was definitely not a notification uh, for it, so you figure if it was live, there would have been a notification. It was yeah. in, live. It was in the news, it and unfortunately, because I also opened up that news thing, I happened to glimpse the Metroid Prime Four logo before I watched it, and I was like, "Oh, come <laughs> on!" Oh, so it ruins oh, the hype. It was literally the entire yeah. reveal. You don't anyway. get, get the epicness <laughs> of it's space. It's space. Is it Mario Galaxy Three? Wait a second. That's some Metroid yeah. Prime music. Nah, it's a remake. It's a remake. It's yeah. A... No! I didn't get that, unfortunately. <laughs> I saw the logo first. Dang it! Like, because uh, that, in my mind, I kept thinking, I'm like, because I kept thought, no, yeah. they didn't. No, they didn't. I just kept, that's a remake. It, it's going to be, it, everyone's going to hope it's Metro Prime 4, and it's going to be a remake. Then the 4 pops up. I'm like, no. No. No, they're not doing it. I'm not going to believe it. I still don't believe it till we actually see the game. <laughs> right till it's out there. <laughs> Like, like when you make an announcement that doesn't involve seeing the game, I always worry it's going to be one of those moments where they're just not going to talk about it again, and we're going to get, like, three years later, and then finally someone asks Nintendo, so whatever happened to Metro Prime 4? And they'll be like, so, uh, we didn't say anything, but that game's going to Oh, Star Fox 2? It could be. Development <laughs> issues? Oh, man, Star Fox 2. <laughs> so, uh, we hope you enjoy this Star Fox Zero remake. <laughs> So I thought you were gonna take it in the Breath of the Wild direction, where they just like, you know, they get like, "Hey, this this game's coming," and then they just keep, uh, like keep this postponing the release I, and keep delaying eventually. it and telling us nothing about the game until it's on Switch until, Two. Yeah, yeah right. until it's on their next console. Wait. Hey, but at least it came uh, out. It did, yes. My my fear my fear is uh what is it that uh, uh scale oh, yeah. bound? I'm afraid yeah. it's gonna be like a scale bound where. It gets announced. It's this brand new team. Uh, it's not even that brand new. It's that platinum, and then it, it just gets canned because it's not coming together. And I'm like, I do worry about that sometimes. Mm-hmm. When you talk about new teams, it's like, but you didn't show mm-hmm. off the game, which means you yep. don't have anything to show off yet. Which means you don't know how well this thing's <laughs> even going to come together yet. I do have to point out though but, that you were correct that they are not doing it again, or they are not doing it. What? You know, m- m- the whole Prime Four. Retro? 
Right. Because Retro's not doing it. So oh, they yeah. technically are not doing it. <laughs> yeah. I gotta yeah. say, I'm still sore <laughs> yeah. that I didn't get All my right. uh, my transforming R-Wing amiibo. That was gonna be so cool. Mm. So, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. that would've been sweet. Hey, hey, there's that other game out there that has the... It's not an amiibo, what is that game? Yeah, Star- no. Starlink Battle for Atlas? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah, you build your own ships there. I don't yeah. remember that one. It didn't leave you an do. impression can... on me, obviously. Because because it, it wasn't in the Nintendo stuff. That's why it was oh, announced okay. by Ubisoft. Multi platform multi platform game coming to PlayStation Four, mm-hmm. Xbox One, and Switch. Uh, it has like a gri- a grip accessory that you put your Joy Cons in, and then you literally build your ship on it. Mm-hmm. Um, you could take the ship off. You don't have to play with it on there. Like, that was one thing when they first showed up. I'm like, oh, my God. If I have to play with this giant, like, 12-inch yeah. yeah. ship, like, while I'm playing with buttons, yeah. this does not look like... But they're like, no, no, no. You don't even have to buy the ship. You can get all the stuff digitally if you want instead. Um, oh, okay. That's but nice. it, it's still one of those things. Like, it looked really good. It looked like a mix of Star Fox Ooh. and Rogue Squadron. Well, yeah, and, and the fact that you could actually pull the pieces off the ship and throw a new piece on and it just all of a sudden appears and it, that, that actually does it in the game. Yeah. That part was pretty cool too. Well, they said you just need to scan it one time and yeah. you just have it so you don't have to do it again. You can sell it right back piece. to GameStop. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but that's what's going to happen. Well, that, oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. we all know that's what's going to happen. Oh, right? For sure, for sure. Right. <laughs> right. Still yeah. a dollar. Hey. Or hey. They, that's saying they buy it. That's right. It's still a dollar. Yeah. Dollar that's for right. something you never need again. Um... That's saying they buy it. Yeah, that, that's almost enough for a McDouble. <laughs> oh, and they, they now cost like a dollar. Right. Now 20, it's, so. what is it? A... <laughs> that's saying that they don't have a code in it. That you got to pay for that extra once. piece of cheese in there. Um, Actually, sorry. All right, I, I should know better. They don't have an extra piece no, of cheese in there. That's a single slice. Double cheeseburger. It used to be a there. double cheeseburger on the dollar menu, there. and then they went to the McDouble. Yeah, it oh. was way back in the day. Yeah. I'm out of my element now. You can still get McChickens <laughs> on the dollar menu. Though. You can tell that we're still sore about it, though. Yes. Oh. oh. Yeah. 